Jaden. My name's Aaron. I'm Adriana. I'm Olivia. <laughs> so our project centered on inspiring, informing, and empowering the students at Falco High School. Um, our project has students we have covert recall when we were navigating post-secondary education. And many of us shared that we lacked the proper guidance during this crucial time, so we wanted to be that resource for the students. Um, so we wanted to clear the gaps in the course that come along with um, pursuing these pathways so that those factors were not impossible for them. Uh, furthermore, through this project, we wanted to empower the youth to help bridge the gaps in the disparities that are in the So this is a little bit of a, our overview of our um, mentor session plan. We had five opportunities to meet with the high school students. The first session was just a general info session the next three sessions were to just dig deeper into how to create better resumes, personal statements, uh, financial aid, things like that. Things that we thought were crucial for applying and looking for colleges or even a first time job. When we were making the plan for the sessions, we really thought about what was going to be useful for them to hear as if we were in their shoes a couple years ago. So another thing that we found useful for them to start with was providing them with resources. This includes QR codes that had lists of scholarships they could apply to and access with um, any time they needed to. Uh, also some QR codes, well I think that's right, um, scholarships, uh, the surveys that we wanted to ask them was like questions what they wanted us um, to do for them what we can help them most with and then career pools were where we gave them like a slip of paper and they would tell us like their top choices and we could help them better assess and provide the resources with that. Our first session at Basel High School was our introductions and our one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Um, this, we got the opportunity to know each student individually. We got to know their hobbies and their interests, what career paths they'd like to go. Um, with that being said, we divided into sections on what we each are majoring, educational, health studies, computer science, business, and engineering. And from there, we had one-on-one -on -one connections with Bothell High School students and describing of what it is to be in college. For session two, we mainly focused on resumes and personal statements. So we brought to the high school resume and personal statement templates, and then we practiced with the high schoolers how they could write their own resumes. We also provided examples of our own resumes at that stage in our life, and kind of showed them what makes them special when applying to specific universities. Yeah, so for our third session, we did a vision board and time management. So we go ahead and we gave a little um, time management sheet um, to fill out, um, just how, to, how they value the time and how they structure the time. And we gave them tips, and just because, you know, the transition from high school to college, the pace is a little different. Um, and then we created vision boards, just so they can kind of imagine what's important to them at right now, and how they want their college experience. And so it kind of lets them visualize how they're going to go into college, and like, you know, what to prioritize, what motivates them, just to get a better idea. So for our fourth session, it was financial aid, and we well, it wasn't like part of our plan to do financial aid, it was actually something the parents and the students wanted. And so we did this over Zoom, and we uh, told them about the different types of financial aid that they can apply for, and how to find those resources necessary within their schools or within the college campuses. We also like told them about the new application process, because last year's process was a lot different from this year, which was a little difficult to manage. We also told them like different like information, like if they need help, like how to call for the financial aid or email them and where to find that financial resources within the schools. Okay, so last week we brought the students to our campus and we played games. We made buttons, and we also introduced them to our advisors um, and other departments that we have on our campus. 
we had lunch with them, and then we had a nice little party to send them off. Um, we did a piñata, um, and we said our goodbyes, and it was very fun. Uh, here are some pictures of that event. Um, so the reason we brought them to our campus is because we wanted these high school students to be able to envision themselves on a campus, and we wanted to show them what a college campus would have um, on our campuses. So, uh, like interesting to all the departments, we wanted to show them that uh, there are resources that uh, they can have and that it is possible for them to, to be a college student. So, in addition to providing support and resources for the VHS students, it was also very fulfilling for us on a personal level. We wrote down some words to summarize our experience. I wrote down insightful. It was very insightful getting to know different students and their varying dreams, priorities, and concerns for their future. I put down empowered because I, as a first generation student who went to college, I felt empowered to like not only help all the high school students, but also like as a way to become a leader in my community and really help. Um, I put down heartwarming. It was really nice to see the Bothell high school, student, high school students um, feel encouraged in pursuing higher education after we're meeting with them and see all the resources we, that can be provided for them. I put inspiring because I thought it was very motivating and a new experience that I think I would want to keep doing. So for me, this was a full circle moment because I had a really vision. Uh, it took me back to when I was in their place. And uh, so for that reason, it was really fulfilling to be part of this project. In fact, one of the students said that we made her year. So that in turn made my year. Um, and it was just, additionally, I also found I thought it was really awesome to connect with the students in different ways. I wrote down motivational. Um, this is a motive to keep um, studying, be that Latino leadership. Um, also understanding their motive on why they want to pursue a career. Um, I said community building just because I think community is a big part of someone's success. And I thought this was a great way to not only build the community for them, but for us as well. Uh, so I said cultivating, and for me, it was very nice seeing all these students grow and helping them grow, but I feel like for me this was a big growing moment for me as well. Um, learning how to be a leader um, as a Latino and helping these kids uh, onto their next stage in life. So what's next? We have some hopes for the future and maybe future mentors in this program. First of all, we want Latino students to see themselves represented in leadership and mentorship roles, especially since not all of us have that growing up ourselves. We want more unity among Latinos of all ethnicities and nationalities, bridging our differences in order to come together and empower the next generation. And most of all, we want Latino students to see themselves in higher education. Low enrollment rates and the necessity of going to the labor force at an early age showcase the obstacles so many of us still face. And we would like them to be able to see themselves not only at Ida Bothell, but beyond. Um, this is our presentation. Um, our team has created a pamphlet that our Jaden and Sabrina will be passing around. Please share them. Um, this pamphlet includes a little bit about us. Um, it, it, it has our majors, a little bit more about what we did in each session with QR codes and our location. Thank you. Thank you.